Hi, hello everyone. Welcome again to my channel, the Creative Agile IT. So, as part of today's video, I am going to share details on one of the extension, which is called Definition of Done extension. How can we install it? How can we manage extensions that we have installed in our Azure DevOps organization? And uh, primarily, how to use this Definition of Done extension in our uh, Azure project? So, let's get it started. So, I am sharing one of the organization. This is Creative Learning Made Simple 0433 and uh, we can always click on this particular icon this is marketplace so if i uh, click on the manage extensions so we can see what all extens uh, extensions we are using as part of this organization so we have a sprint goal we also have the retrospective now what we want to do is we want to install definition of done extensions so what we will do is we will click on the browse marketplace now let's try to search for definition of done So this is the very first one definition of done extension if i click on this one so it says get it free i clicked on that now it's asking which organization we want to install so this is our organization 0433 so i am clicking on install so it says you are all set so let's proceed to the organization so now if i click on let's say azure dashboard project and uh, maybe click on the board or maybe click on the backlog so this is our backlog if i click on uh, the user login so we can see this extension has been installed here which is definition of done okay so now what we can do uh, what we can do is uh, we can define the definition of done at a story level because see this user login is a user story so let's try to click on the edit and maybe we can say uh, one of the definition of done for our user stories is uh, so we are saying uh, all of the acceptance criteria mentioned in the user story is implemented unit testing is completed we are also saying peer review is completed we are also saying qa has this is story and last code checked in okay so let's say uh, this is what our definition of done is at a story level we are saying that all acceptance criteria defined or mentioned in the user story that has been implemented unit testing has been completed peer review is completed qa has passed the story and the code has been checked in so what we can do is we can simply save it and uh, now if we close this one so we have defined the definition of done for one of the user story but i mean one of the usage of this extension is like you know uh, it keeps track of at what work item level we have defined so we define the definition of done using one of the story which is user login but if, if i open any of the story let's say forward password and if i go back to the definition of done so we will see what we have defined right so this is what is meant by the definition of done definition of done is at a sprint level at a iteration level uh, what is our done criteria when we are completing any of the user stories within our sprint so that's why if we are seeing uh, this particular uh, definition of done uh, criteria in all of the user story so that's a, a good usage of this particular extension so any of the team member who is working on their respective stories they can you know simply open it and if they want to kind of keep a glance of you know what is our definition of done criteria they can come here and click on the definition of done so they will get this checklist right so they will understand okay this is what is our done criteria what all parameters what all they have to consider before they mark any of the user story as done as per the agreed definition of done now this is at a story level let's try to see uh, can we apply the same thing at a feature level as well so let's say this is one of the uh, feature forgot password so we are getting the definition of done at a feature level as well so maybe what we can do is we can again click on the edit icon so we are saying a feature is completed
we are saying uh, at a feature level, we can consider a feature as done when the stories have been closed. Uh, So what we are saying is at a feature level, we consider feature as a done when all the stories of that particular feature have been closed successfully and also the feature is successfully released, right? So for this particular team, I'm just uh, quoting an example like they have set their definition of done at a feature level like this. So if we click on the save, so this is the definition of done at a feature level. Now, if I close this one and try to open any of the another feature, so we will we can click on the definition of done so now it is showing okay what is our definition of done at a feature level right so a feature consists of number of stories so we can mark the feature closed only when all its child stories have been completed and also you know for this particular team they want to ensure that you know we they have released the feature for the users right so this is how we can utilize the definition of done extension um, you know so there are a number of ways of you know implementing definition of done some of the teams you know they uh, maintain a kind of a checklist that can be shared uh, in a sharepoint in a confluence maybe you know we can you know keep the definition of done in, in a azure dashboard as well but this is using the extension and one of the advantage of you know this particular technique is that you know whenever we are working on any of the work items so we will always look at uh, the definition of done we can always see this using this particular tab what is our definition of done at that particular work item level so normally it's like at a feature level and then also at a user story level so which we can you know rightly pick from here and uh, as i have mentioned that uh, we can always go to the marketplace and we can see we can click on the manage extensions and this is how we will see okay we have these three extensions we are using definition of done we are use, also using the retrospectives and we are using the sprint goal so that was kind of a brief about today's video i hope uh, you found the content uh, useful and you guys can use and try it within your teams and uh, Thank you. Thank you for watching this particular video and uh, please uh, do share and subscribe. That will definitely motivate me to uh, share more such learning videos, uh, you know, uh, in this journey. Thank you. Thank you so much.